The one thing I have never experienced uh, is to feel how and what it was like to live on my own in a world different from Asia. I am from the East and I come with my Eastern values based on multiculturalism and goodwill. So my journey as a citizen of the, of the world began just four years ago in this northern city in England, Kingston upon Hull. Living in the 21st century, I always thought that people were accepting of the diverse nature of mankind, especially here in the West. Upon arrival in Hull, the first person to actually welcome me was a man who was in his 50s named Andy. He waited for me at the train station and welcomed me with open arms. He embraced me as a family member. However, my impression of Hull in the first few weeks in the city was otherwise. The few trips I made to the university from where I used to live, I came across few racist people who were picking on me, attempting to insult me on the basis of my origin, skin colour and so on. Look here, I'd like to see all the Muslims in England. I've not off. said anything to we you. We never had any terrorists until you used to lock us here. I've not said anything to what? you. I was just walking into I'm the shop. You was the long hair, you'd be pink skinned, blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes. Go home, the lot of you. You make me sick. My brother, who spoke to me during my time here in the UK, told me about a film called Amazing Grace, which is about a man who was responsible for abolishing slave trade in England. I found afterwards that this man was actually from Hull. He was born here in the city. He also used to be the Member of Parliament for Hull. I felt that the values exposed in this film, such as the concept uh, of the Bible, that God made men equal, quite different from the experience I had with the people whom I came across, who seemed rather bitter and were unjustly mean towards me at the start of my stay here in Hull. Nonetheless, I became very inspired after watching the film, especially uh, on his endeavour to provide a voice and also to speak for those who could not. So, as weeks and months pass, I got to know more of the academic environment and people from the university made my stay uh, here in Hull uh, more welcoming. Not to mention, as I got to know more and more uh, locals uh, from the other parts of the city after exploring uh, not just the city and the city centre, I got to know that the locals from Hull are actually more heartwarming and, and, and lovely people. And I realised that there are actually people uh, in the city who have uh, the values uh, which, which are the opposite of the people who I met early on during my stay here in Hull. And I got to know more of uh, the city, not just being uh, a typically northern city, but it actually was a bastion for refugees and that's why the city is not just filled with uh, English people or Europeans, it's also filled, if, if you go across the city, uh, you'll see uh, a diverse range of people who could be uh, Kurdish, of, of Kurdish origin and so on and so forth. Uh, so I think that uh, this, city, this city as a whole uh, is actually it's actually filled with more kind people than there are those uh, who, who are of the opposite. My message um, to the people of this city and to the world as at the present time we're living uh, in a time where there is a struggle between uh, good and evil, hate and goodwill. 
I think that we should be we should not be fearful of of the unknown and we should not give in to hate especially when it's propagated by uh, individuals who want to divide our society. I think that when people are more accepting of each other and want to understand about each other's uh, cultures, despite the differences, uh, there would be more tolerance and I think that the values of multiculturalism uh, can be exhibited. And I also believe that unity is a source of strength, not weakness. And I think that that's what um, the people of Hull uh, should should be should learn to uh, should learn about to to understand more about each other than than to focus on the differences.